Hey guys and welcome back to Book Read Friday. Today I've got a variety of books that will be relevant to medics, engineers and I guess those people who simply want to improve their number skills. So just to introduce them quickly, we've got a fantastic book about structural engineering for those engineers out there, a numerical reasoning book that will help you bolster your mental arithmetic and lastly a fantastic book for those medics out there, those aspiring medics and those interested in neurology. So let's get cracking and go through why I recommend each one of these. So last week's Book Read Friday recommendations were all quite medicine related and one of the comments on that video was from an aspiring engineer asking for recommendations for future aspiring engineers. And so completing my MEng intercalation, I myself have become very interested in engineering whilst doing that. And this book is fantastic, Why Buildings Stand Up by Mario Salvadori. It's a book I came across in Waterstones when I was just walking around and browsing in the engineering section. And what I find really fascinating about it is how it goes through the engineering principles that are behind how modern buildings stand up and just generally construction techniques. Through some amazing hand-drawn illustrations, this book addresses how even the Eiffel Tower stays up to things like how domes are structurally supported and even how cantilevers allow us to build outwards after going a certain height up. So um, it's a really fantastic, fantastic book. And again, I don't think it's made me a structural engineer, but as someone who sometimes looks at bridges and looks at buildings and thinks, how do these things stand up? This book is a fantastic read, just to improve that general knowledge you have about engineering around you day to day. So yes, I really recommend this if you are interested in engineering, and particularly those of you who are interested in Cambridge engineering. Remember, the first two years of engineering are very broad. You'll study everything from mechanical engineering to structural engineering to electrical engineering before you specialize in third year. And so such a book is a fantastic introduction to structural engineering. Um, and also, I guess for architects as well, this is a fantastic book that you might want to read. So do get out there. It's not too expensive, around £13. So get out there, read it, and yeah, tell me what you think of it. The next book is for those of you who are, well, both engineers and medics, and generally people who want to improve your numerical skills. I ordered this book whilst revising for my UCAT and BMAT exams, the medical entrance examinations, and found it so, so useful. It's this How to Pass Data Interpretation Tests book. The author is Mike Byron. And again, you just simply work through a bunch of questions uh, step by step, the answers are at the back. And you simply do an exercise a day or a few exercises per day, and it helps you work on your mental arithmetic skills. Now, a lot of you may remember mental arithmetic from the days of the 11 plus. And since then, your GCSE exams didn't really require mental maths, nor do your A-level exams. But an exam such as the BMAT and the UCAT, where you're having to make quick calculations on the spot and where you want to avoid using a calculator, such a book comes in very, very handy. And this isn't just for entrance exams. When you're applying for jobs in finance or consulting, they expect a reasonably good level of mental arithmetic. So this book is a fantastic way of just polishing up on those skills. So I really recommend this to keep you busy when you're bored. So the last book for this Book Read Friday is for medics, The Private Life of the Brain. Now, when I was at school, I was an aspiring neurosurgeon. I loved everything to do with neurosurgery. I even did a neurosurgery work experience placement, which further inspired me to become a neurosurgeon. And this book was recommended to me by a good friend whilst at school. He was also interested in being a neurosurgeon and he's now studying medicine also. And he said, send, read this book by Susan Greenfield, or Professor Susan Greenfield, I should say. It's a fantastic book that goes through all about the physiology of the brain, how it works, but as well as that, the neurology side of things. There's another book by Susan Greenfield called The Brain. I think I have it back here. And this book goes through more of the anatomy side of things regarding the brain. Whereas this book really goes through emotions. It goes through how things like drugs affect our brain. It goes about the brain from a behavioral point of view. And so it gives case studies as to what happens to your brain when you're, let's say, in certain fight or flight situations. And again, it's a really, really good way of understanding more about the brain, getting to know more about it in terms of the physiology, but also the neurology, like I said. And this sort of book is fantastic to put in your personal statement. Let's say you do do a neurology placement or a neurosurgery placement, then you can talk about this book and talk about how you saw the relevance of what you saw in work experience, having read this book as well and how that's furthered your interest in medicine and how you want to be one day a doctor. And Oliver Sacks, actually, another famous author in the medicine world, has described this as challenging, original, readable, and personal. So get out there, read this book, it's fantastic. So again, this week we've got a fantastic range of books for you all to read. Get out there, one for the engineers, one for the medics and neurologists, and one for everyone in between. Get out there, read these books, and look out for next week's Book Read Friday.
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Bye-bye.